welcome back to the uh, Expedition 5. I've got my little helper here again for another video. I was just going to leave it in a second. Um, so after our broom stay, we decided to head north and check out the Dampier Peninsula. We were a little bit worried because we're getting through to October and it's really, really hot. Uh, broom itself is around 40 degrees uh, most days and all the places are, we, we looked at uh, Middle Lagoon, Panda Bay and Smithies. Um, there's one on, I can't remember what it's called, but they're not, there's no power, so you're free camping it. Um, we chose Panda Bay in the end because the uh, missus found a, a little bathtub site. I think there's two sites in Panda Bay um, that I think we've seen on other people's instas and they look pretty cool. So thought we'd go for that when the bookings opened up. Um, don't start me on the booking system, but it is what it is. Uh, we managed to get two nights there. Um, there's a water hookup um, there, which was great. Um, we found yeah, plenty of water hookups around the van. Uh, when we got there, and I'll chuck a, a photo up at this point, um, just the view. The view is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, getting there can be a bit of an issue, so um, you'll need probably like a semi-off-road caravan. Um, you'll probably struggle. You, you might make it, but um, I don't know if your insurance would cover you if you, you go without a semi-off-road, but there is about 35, 33, 35 um, kilometres of dirt road. The first kilometre is probably the most um, corrugated. Uh, so as soon as we get to the turn off off the main road, put all the tyres down. Um, I won't explain how much to put them down, I'll do that in another video. Um, but uh, put tyres down in the van in the car. The first kilometre was the most corrugated. After that, it's kind of like really soft. It's like sandy, sandy dirt. Um, but there is corrugations. I've always found driving at 30 or 40 k an hour or lower you hit more bumps, you're going down to the corrugations and it's harder than driving at say 60 to 70 kilometers an hour, probably closer to the 70 mark or 80. Um, you kind of sit on top of the corrugations, it's definitely a smoother ride. There is a few rolling um, mounds though, a little bit later on that might catch you out. So you just make sure that you, you catch those and you slow down before you get your caravan airborne gone over those. Um, but yeah, there's a couple of turns, but it's all signposted as you get in there. Um, we, our, our spot was like right on the cliff face, beautiful views, um, couldn't recommend it enough if you get the opportunity to, to book a couple of nights, go and do it. It cooled down enough at night for us, it was hot during the day but we were swimming for a bit of a dip. They do recommend not to really swim there um, due to sharks, possibility of crocs, I reckon it's a low possibility but there's always a possibility at the northern end um, of WA so we just used the bath and kept filling it up and dropping into dips and then letting the air cool us down. Um, and and yeah, it cooled down enough at night. We just opened the caravan up, and uh, we had once again a little hot tub there. We could have a fire, so we had the fire going to try and keep some of the flies away. The flies are pretty bad, um, but yeah, definitely definitely recommend going there. You can do some fishing off the beach, uh, some walking on the rocks. Um, it's just uh, it's just a spot to unwind, relax. Not really any reception. Uh, we have Starlink, so we have reception, but we try not to run too much, um, especially at night when you, you can't charge your batteries through solar. Um, but it's just a, a good spot to unwind, relax, and just enjoy um, nature at its best and the views. out to come back out and then making it back to Broome. Uh, there is, I noticed there is like one kind of random petrol station. Uh, if you do do a few driving trips and you kind of run low on fuel, um, we managed to make it from Broome out and then and, and back uh, without needing fuel. Um, but I didn't go check out the petrol station. I did call to make sure it's there because it doesn't, it doesn't come up on the fuel map. Um, it came up when I um, Googled it. Oh, sorry, it comes up on fuel map. 
that doesn't come up on Google or anything like that. I can only see it on the fuel map. But I did call the number that was there and they said, yep, they're open 24 seven. So if you need fuel, you can definitely hit that one up. It's on, on the fuel map. Um, but yeah, great spot to stay. We headed back to Broome and then kept journeying further south to 80 Mile Beach.